So we move from Brent Musburger to the rituals and traditions in sports. Now, Missy Franklin won four gold medals in the London Games. She won five overall. She is just 17 years old, and she is going to Cal next year. Amazing how she's only 17. Now, KUSA TV in Denver has a report on us, uh, on her, for us, about some of the practices and routines she has. There's a popular song by rapper Missy Elliott called I Got a Bottle. Turns out Missy Franklin has one also. <laughs> Following Franklin's first high school swim meet of the season, <laughs> the missile jumped back in the pool at Regis Jesuit and swam a few laps of backstroke with a water bottle balanced perfectly on her forehead. It's a drill she frequently does to practice head stabilization, which helps her set world records and win Olympic <laughs> gold medals. Just moving your face a little bit during that race will cost you a fraction of a second really and maybe a victory. Talented young woman. Yeah, totally. Totally a talented young woman. And look, I don't know the mechanics of swimming. And like, I, I, like, I mean, I've never swam competitively before. You look like you could swim, right? Seriously? Because yeah. I look like Michael Phelps, right? You're thin. You know, you could glide through the water nicely, I would imagine. You really think so? Sure. All right. <laughs> TYT competition. I'm in. Let's do swimming. He said that, you know, the, the head movements can take off a fraction of a point. But the fact that she could balance that entire thing on her head is just unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's an, really unbelievable. It's an amazing feat. I mean, to yeah. be able to have that balance, to hold your neck up, to have that kind of strength and that kind of focus, you know, just as a basic training methodology is pretty impressive. Sure. You have to remember, these are people that shave their bodies, you know, from head to toe. So <laughs> every second, every tenth of a second, obviously counts in the pool. So this got my curiosity booming about what are some of the rituals in sports, sure. pregame rituals. So I have a few. Uh, Tim, I believe, uh, let's roll the first one. Okay, so it wasn't anything special. Uh, Reminds me of the Vi Sikahima. What's that? Famous punch on the goalpost of the kick returner for the Eagles. Really? It's from the 80s. Okay. Yeah. W what year? It's 87. Oh, I wasn't born yet. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I brought it up, Rick. Right? I know you're from Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, you're an Ohio guy, but LeBron James with the chalk. Go ah, ahead. yeah, sure. Roll it. Lame. So the last one, I'm only saying that because, like, I, you know, I'm a Chicago guy, I'm a Jordan guy. Obviously, who did it first? He did it Jordan. Flat. Jordan. Yeah, he, he, he did. But the whole powder, right, the, the whole right. powder hemisphere was mm -hmm. changed because he did. I remember announcers holding up a little shield to keep the powder from their faces when Jordan would. Do I it. think I saw that. I think I saw Johnny Redker do that a few times on the broadcast. That would be right. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah. a Chicago guy, you would know the broadcast. Come on, I know. I got Johnny Redker's autograph. Dude is so tall. Really? He is humongous. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. He unfortunately passed away, but when I saw him, he's like, he's still up there. He's a good 6'8", wow. I would say. He's huge. So then the last one, this is by far my favorite. I believe this is uh, John Henderson, a 6'7 defensive lineman who, as you'll see in this clip, played for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Here's how he gets amped up for a game. Let's roll, let's roll. Ah! Stop this, baby! Oh, come on, Joe. That ain't good enough. Come on, Joe. Ah, thank you, baby. <laughs> that is great. Is that your first time seeing that? No, I've seen that before, okay. but I love it every time I see it. That is awesome. That's spectacular. Yeah. yeah. Uh, University of Tennessee, SEC football, right? Really? There. Yep. John Henderson? John, I believe so. Yeah, awesome. defensive tackle at Tennessee. Reminds me of um, Lawrence Taylor in any given Sunday. Uh, he got slapped around before games a little bit too. So good call. Definitely a great way to get amped up pregame.